had the internet been around and you had been aware of the kind of impact you were making, how different things would have been? Well, you, you do think that, but now it's, it's a lot harder to be completely unique and original because of doing so much availability of music. I think in our time, um, it was all pretty straightforward. You know, you'd had the heavy rock of the 70s and the punk and the, the, the glam of the, of the 70s. So you had like a top of the pop, uh, top of the pop music, and you had like the album rock music on the Zeppelins and the Deep Purple and so on. Um, then punk came along, and people were still into hard rock and heavy metal music, but it just went very underground. And the new wave of British heavy metal, uh, which is what we're often associated with. Um, kicked off and that was like, you know, you, you know metal's not dead in England, so you had the likes of Iron Maiden and Death Letters and these other bands coming out. And it was people in America and elsewhere who picked up on this via imports, via cassette tapes and sending it all around, um, picked up on this new style of music, which then inspired the likes of Metallica and, and all the other bands that we've ever heard of. I've seen some of them as well. So with all that going on, in 2003, me and Mike decided that... Uh... Musically, people compare you to Black Sabbath meets Pink Floyd. Apart from the other new wave of British heavy metal bands, or any other metal bands at the time, you, you took a lot more of a progressive route, but at the same time, very, very heavy, you know, heavy riff, Tony Iommi riff, but very progressive at the same time. What, what inspires that sound? such a like haunting voice a, a very unique voice great harmonies uh, but it complements your guitar playing and the music so well if it wasn't for mine they wouldn't have been a legend before we get to the comeback you did a, a record still screaming fantastic album in 2003 but i want to talk about your your second release in 82 which was death in the nursery a, amazing album i think it even surpassed the first album not quite as dark as the first album but again just fantastic lyric how is that experience different from the uh, first album Music really stood out compared to the, the other bands at that time, but your lyrics in particular, absolutely incredible. A, not only that, but a lot of bands like Opeth doing kind of a, a old progressive mixing out with death metal. And, you know, I listen back to the legend going, God, you guys, you were doing both of these combined much better 25 years ago. <laughs> I, I know that Still Screaming record you just went to the studio and did with Mike, but have you ever actually talked to him seriously about getting the band back together? Yeah.
There you go, legendjersey.com. Check it out, and thanks again, Pete. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll talk soon.